what we are showcasing here on our demo, we have got only three varieties. We have got a KKS 501. Now KKS, that simply means Crane Carol Seed. The smaller the first number, the area, the maize uh, uh, matures. So we have got 501, which is the early maturity. And then we have got the 603. It's a medium variety, cativa. And then we have got the 607, which is also a medium cativa. However, all our varieties, they can still grow well in any region, wherever you think about it, but we have got those categories. As you understand, uh, our country is divided in two, three agroecological zones. We have got region one, we have got region two, and we have got region three. So region one, that's the region which receives the 800 and below millimeters of rain. That is mainly the southern part of this country. And then we have got the region two, which receives more than 800, but less than 1,000 millimeters of rain. And then we have got the other side, region three, which is up north. That one receives not less than, it's about a thousand and more. So now, when you look at our rainfall pattern, even the period of the rain, so the early maturity is like 501. It's recommended for drier areas and where there is shorter rains, like southern province. And then when you come at the central here, we recommend mainly 603 and 607 because these are medium varieties. However, these medium uh, varieties can still grow in the iron for areas where we receive more than a thousand rains. Uh, in the first place, any variety that they think of, it can still do better. But now, of course, what you are looking at is it depends the reason why. Because they, they, they are trying to grow the maize in the dry season. If it's a green maize for consumption, I may recommend maybe 501. But if it's just a commercial maze, I think any variety will still fit in. Our researchers, or the breeders, they looked at the, the, the current situation that we're experiencing in Southern Africa. Zambia, of course, is part of that. So all the varieties for K2, they are drought-resistant varieties. So they have got the same characteristics. All the maids, they still stand any, any type of drought, there's no problem. We have experienced that in different areas. In fact, what I saw some time back, you can just believe it. Keeping the seed in the ground for over a month, it happened somewhere after planting, it never rained until after a month, and the farmer was very worried. So what the farmer did was to replant. Eh? He had no patience. But when the rains came, surprised what he planted later and what he planted earlier, both of them germinated. So it's quite a very tough seed. It's a semi-fringe seed, so it is a very tough seed. It can stand the heat from our experience. It can stand the heat even for more than two weeks we are talking about. But of course we advise farmers to plant after receiving enough rainfall in the ground. So that even if it doesn't rain for some days, there will still be enough rainwater in the soil for them to germinate immediately.